My name is Silas. I am a counseling psychologist and CEO of Amazon Counseling Center. Uh, we have been here before. We have been doing uh, this program on mental health every Monday at 8 a.m. Now we are doing at 10 uh, a.m. And we are going to journey with you. So you're welcome. Uh, be part of us. We actually began with uh, you know, what we would call life before life. Now life before life basically means the preparation uh, when parents begin to prepare themselves uh, to begin uh, you know, to receive children, to deliver children, to conceive children. What, what, what are we supposed to do? What preparations do we need to put in place? Uh, maybe both mentally, physically, spiritually, socially and all that. At Amazon Counseling Center, we provide uh, psychological services for individuals, uh, for groups, for families, for youth. We also give talks uh, to organizations, uh, corporates, uh, embassies, and any other organized group, NGOs, of course, and the churches as well. And so our really desire is to make sure that the whole world gets to know very well about mental illnesses and also people find a place that they can be helped in a way that does not isolate just one aspect of their lives, but actually to be able to treat them as a, as a whole person. And so that's what basically what we do. Now today, um, uh, after the presentation last uh, Monday, I, I think I shared much more on uh, what is really this mental illness that we're talking about. And what I wanted to do mostly was to dismiss, de demystify what people say that actually mental illness is just something that is far-fetched. It's just something that is isolated. It's just something that is, you know, too far, that, like too far from our reach. And sometimes also we think of extremes as the only conditions that we can talk as mental illnesses. For example, when someone is walking uh, naked or is, uh, is unkept or is sleeping in the streets or is violent, uh, is talking uh, to himself, so we tend to think that those are the only conditions that actually um, fit in the category of mental illnesses. But I think after my talk last week, now I know you understand very well that even your body can actually make you, let's say the physical illness can lead to mental illness. And your spiritual illness can lead to your mental illness. And your mental illness itself can actually lead to a physical illness and to the spiritual illness and to emotional struggles and to social connections with people. So it, it really affects everything. And so after doing that discussion, I just felt like there is one aspect that I did not address very well, which is the spiritual part. Mm -hmm. 